Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Marmoset and welcome back to occasionally flicking and strangely changing contracts. I don't know why it's doing that, but it is. Assuming it's probably some strange combination of mods. I've got a lot of Taurus contracts. Um, they all just want orbital and suborbital flights. I've got a lot of them. I don't really want that many. Um, it's a little bit odd that it's decided to populate it with so much, so... What I'm probably going to... I don't want 9 tourism offered. Um, so I might, between episodes, go into the contracts thing and change that a bit. But what we're going to do now is, it's a consequence of, something, uh, of a somewhat worse than average student accident. Yeah, it would be cool to look at some... Uh, would you consider, you know, having a look at things? Uh, let's go to the moon. Just to fly by. Literally, fly by the moon. Get us a chunk of cash. Even more. All right. We'll fly by the moon. We will fly by the moon. So, we've got a contract satellite payload. Contract sat one. Out beyond lunar orbit. See that? There's Minmus. There's the moon. So I'm pretty sure that the contract sat class the spacecraft should easily be able to do a lunar flyby. So with that in mind, let's go to the vehicle assembly building and open up contract sat one load. So fly by the moon, fly a vessel, vessel anywhere nearby the moon to achieve this goal. All right, <laughs> fair enough. So I keep pushing that thing and it doesn't go away. There we go. Okay then, let's do that. Fly by the moon. We know you've got enough Delta V to get out there, so we will simply rename you to what you should be today, which is Adventure One. Because that is the name of our moon missions. Adventure! We're going on an adventure to the moon! Um, however, not completely. Because Adventure 1, if so we're going to do a lunar flyby, we should probably strap a few more bits and pieces to you. So, with that in mind, let's disconnect this, bring you up a bit, and put a service bay on. So we can open up said service bay. And add more science. So we want a science junior. So our delta V beforehand is five and a half. Our delta V now. Right, so it's costing us 500 LV. We really don't need it. Um, okay, we're, we're not. We're just literally just doing a flyby. Fly by the moon. Fly a vessel anywhere nearby the moon. Don't even have to get it back. <laughs> and we'll just double check that. Contracts. Fly by the moon. Fly a vessel by the moon. So we don't even need to worry about returning it. So we don't need to save any delta or anything. So take you off. Put you in. Tuck you up under there, and we will strap. Whoop, whoop. Three of you in. Close. Done. Do you have an antenna? Pretty sure you did have an antenna at some point. Let's make sure. Uh, I don't need three times symmetry on the antennas. Just one on the top will do nicely, thank you very much. Alright, um, let's add another set of solar panels. On the principle that I want to make sure we've got plenty of power to recharge our batteries because we're going to be transmitting a fair bit of data and I want to make sure that we can do it 
quickly. Um, all right, adventure one, save, launch. Oh, 30 parts, drat, uh, 35 parts. All right, so let's take them off. Um, okay then, open. Just have two of them then. Here's a thought. Could I strap them on the outside? Or is that going to be too much drag? Yeah, it's going to be too much drag. Alright, fine. Um, there's nothing concerning about this vessel. Fine. Save. Launch. To the moon. To the moon. To the moon. Where are we going? Going to the moon. Go into the moon. Uh, SAS turn on. And. Oh, I don't want surface, do want orbital. Go up! Go up quickly! There we go. So all that light at the same time. Talk to you over. Should have done this one a bit slower. This is an awful lot easier when Dondin was flying. <laughs> when we were doing our previous polar mission. Try and keep it. There we go. I'm just watching the inclination here and making sure that that's not. Doesn't go above one, basically. Alright, we need to angle over a bit more. We are going a bit too far straight up. Which isn't too much of a problem, but I'd rather be going an awful lot more sideways, because going up is easy. Going up is easy. Making sure that when you go back down again, you're going sideways enough that you don't hit the ground. That's all the good mechanics. But bear in mind, we do have a huge amount of delta V in our upper stage. So as long as we can get this thing to orbit, I'm pretty confident we can get our little probe, our much bigger probe now, Adventure 1, um, we can get it into a lunar flyby. I'd like to get it into a lunar orbit. That would be nice. Now, the time to our is still increasing. That's good. That means we're pushing it away from us. Alright, let's go full throttle. Well clear of the atmosphere now. Bring our altitude our up to 80 now. Just looking at that. There we go. Kill the engine. Bring ourselves up to here. Have a mover to there. You'd be so kind as to circularize. First move for apoapsis doesn't need to be anywhere near that enormous. There we go. So we're going to lose a fair chunk of what's in our tank here. Um, we're going to lose a thousand. Actually, no, two thousand here. Yes, yeah, so we'll have fourteen thousand left. Sixteen thousand left to make our way out to that. Nice. All right. Warp to maneuver. End the time warp. Oh, I forgot how slow you were. Whoops. Alright, if I put a little bit of engine on, it'll help me turn. Alright, so we were late firing yet again. I forgot to point us the right way before we time warped and I forgot how sluggish this thing is because we don't have external reaction wheels yet. You done? You're nearly done. Tiddle pip. Goodbye, second stage. Served as well, you did. Served as well. Lost sight of it already. <laughs> oh, there it is. 
Adventure One Debris. Things drifting there. We are an awful lot more sluggish than contracts that one was. That changed, so we're obviously actually in orbit again now. Yeah, there we go. One of the final few bits of Delta V. Et voila. Orbit. Apoapsis. Periapsis. Are we coming back in? Yeah, I screwed that up enough that we are coming back in. Alright. Ad maneuver. How do we not die? Nope. No, there it we're coming back in. Yep, we're coming back in. All right, revert flight, back to launch. That was six minutes of your life. You watched me completely screw up because I failed to fire the engine in time. As I air, so I turn on, up we go. All right, let's pay attention. Shall we, ladies and gentlemen? At 100 meters per second, we begin to roll over. Set throttle to two thirds. Cue the staging so they fire at the same time. Supersonic. Let the speed burn off a little bit. Since we endeavor to angle ourselves over. Alright, now we wait. We should start accelerating as we burn fuel. Thrust to weight ratio can be up. Tilty, tilty, tilty. Angling across as we go. Alright, how's our inclination? The inclination is increasing. So let's adjust that just a little bit. So that is no longer the case. 20,000 meters above the surface is go for full throttle. Going all this over. All right. I feel like this has been a much better launch because we've now got 800 left in the tank as opposed to the 400 I had last time. All right. Let's get you pointing at the horizon. And roll over, if you wouldn't mind. I don't know why I asked it to roll over. I really didn't need it to. Really not got low control authority on this thing. Come on. Nose down, if you'd be so kind. All right, let's just put a little bit of engine burn on so I can use the thrust gimbal. There we go, space. All right, map. I'm going to do the apoapsis. Post burn height. That'll do. 15,000. Again, using a fair chunk of what we want. Nope, definitely the wrong direction. It's not, it takes so long for it to respond. I'm not entirely sure if I'm actually pointing in the right direction or it's moving at all. All right, three, two, one, burn. Let me keep that one over. I want to make sure 
battery at this stage as quickly as possible. There's my orbit marker. Burn time remaining. Finish it off. Apparently, didn't do quite a good enough job. All right, that's an orbit. It's a crappy one. So apparently I need to practice getting into orbit. Alright, we need to get out to the moon. That maneuver node here. Oh, alright. <laughs> so there we go. That's us flying past the moon. Using a fair bit of our delta V, um, I suspect we can probably use less. Or do I want to use more? The closer we're in. The more effective we are, well, the closer we're in, that's a bit too close. All right, if we can get that kind of accuracy, then we'll be able to do a low pass over the moon, which should get us more science. Alright, I'm happy with that. Alright, um... That's nice. Get you pointing at your maneuver node, shall we? Apparently it's on the other side of the orbit. I don't want to walk to there. I want to change my focus. How do I change what I'm looking at? <laughs> no. Where's my spatchcraft? Which one of these things is eventual one? Ah. Alright, fine. Looks like we're looking at the moon. <laughs> Burn time. 10 seconds, alright. Time to know burn. seconds. Oh, 
full power. 800 meters a second. And we are go to go to the moon. Go to go to the moon. Going to the moon. It's a moon trip. to Delta V. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm calling that done. I'm going back to the spacecraft. I am derating the engine all the way down to 10%. And I'm going back to here. And I'm going to very gently point us prograde. And put a tiny smidgen of thrust in. Trying to get that down to 10,000. There we go. That's a pretty low fly. If I put a maneuver node there and ask for an orbit, it is only 100. So we can put a probe into a, let's put it into a high polar orbit, high moonar orbit like that, and we will do our flyby. Nice. Alright, let's uh, walk to there if you wouldn't mind. Before we get any further, just before I realize we've gone too far, extend antenna. Thank you. <laughs> and now we have data. Alright, well, I can take those two and I can transmit them. Cancel. Reset. Temperature scan, transmit, atmospheric scan, transmit. Am I out of power? Yeah, I'm out of power. It's triple charging though. That's fine. So how do I change the focus? Which one of these buttons changes the focus? So that left clicking on it has made that my thing. Mm -hmm. Alright, fine. Get your point towards your maneuver node. So we'll do a couple studies. We'll do material study high over the moon. Transmit that data, and then we'll do a goo study. One high and one low. All right. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care about that. Yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> All right then. The moon, nice. Uh, science here and now. Settings menu. Hmm. No. Yeah. 
Hi, Gavir. Objective is a life filter. Build the difficult science. Select object window. Alright, is it in the alarm clock? Apparently not. Alright, you're just going to keep annoying me, aren't you? Time will not be stopped, thank you. Alright, let's uh, cross the boundary from one sphere of influence into the other. Thank you for auto saving. And there we go. High over the moon's midlands. I would like to observe some mystery goo. Goo seems to be quivering with excitement. Transmit that data. Yes, I know. Like a material study, if you wouldn't mind. Why are we in a lab up here where we could be below? Playing, uh, EVAing in the crater below, I know. Transmit that science. Slow the time walk down. Alright, we've got some messages up here. Yep, explore the moon. Yay! You've initiated the first supply of the moon. You gather first scientific data from the moon. Nice. This should give us a healthy amount of cash. Give me a temperature scan. Apparently not. Space over high moon's midlands. Alright, if you're not going to give me a temperature scan, I'm going to go to the spacecraft and do it myself. Review data. Yeah, reset. <laughs> Log temperature. Yep, transmit. Review data. That's the old one. I don't want that. Log that temperature. In space, while well, high over the moon. Transmit. Chewing up power a bit, but we're good. It'll recharge pretty quickly. Got an hour before we get to the uh, maneuver node to put ourselves in a lunar orbit. All right, chatterer. Settings. Beeps. Beeps, noise, settings. Yes, that's some. Let's make that beeping noise when I transmit things a little bit cheap, uh, less noisy, shall we? Alright, thank you, Chatterer. Alright, you're all ready to go. Material study is complete. Oh, you be so kind. To the maneuver node. In space high. In space near. Alright. Yeah, I overshot again. Alright, sorry, I saw the purple line go frantically past, which I'm assuming means that... Oh yes, we depart moon orbit, go all the way out here, come back again, and then go through the moon on our next pass. So we go, bye bye moon! Hello moon! I don't want to go past the moon twice, it would be an interesting orbit, but... Um, not one I particularly want to do. 
Oh, I remember now, I really derated the engine, didn't I? There we go. Yep. Nice. Alright. Now we're probably going to lose contact at some point. Um, this orbit is going to go behind the moon. We've got plenty of charge. Give me a temperature scan. And then transmit it. From low around the moon. Give me an atmospheric scan. Yes, as if it were in vacuum. But it's vacuum that's near the moon. And give me a mystery goo observation. Goo looks like a bowl as it imitates the crater below. And transmit. I am aware it is inoperable. Yay, sorry, I'm playing with something. Data sent. We've got science. We've got a mission in orbit. And should we ever suddenly decide we need to get more information for around the moon, then we've got Adventure 1. Hey? Near the moon. Alright, if I transmit, and transmit you too. You're waiting till we've got some power, aren't you? Ah, I have prepared to put us into eclipse, and we no longer have transmission. Yep, see, the moon is in the way. Also, we're out of power. There we go, now we're not in the shade anymore, because there's the sun. We'll have transmission again, but look, we should start losing. Uh, let's kill the time warp. Go back to the spacecraft. And transmit the data but as we go round we should see some of these green lines yep get cut off as we go behind the moon there we go and now no communication nothing we can do Nothing we can do. Yes, yes, we're in various places. Now we've got communication back. Alright, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I have been the Marmoset, and this has been our first attempt to get into Moonar Orbit. It worked quite well, actually. Nothing hideously horribly wrong went wrong. Very much wrong, wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Went right. So it did take us two attempts to get into orbit, and even then the second attempt wasn't what I would call particularly useful. So with that in mind, I think I need to learn and practice getting into orbit. Fortunately, I have a load of tourist contracts um, to do that with, um, just so I can get better at making sure I've got enough time before... Well, I suppose what I can do is just accelerate pointing at the horizon before I get to apparapsis, just, like, just keep pushing it away, pushing it away, pushing it away to get my horizontal speed up more when I'm cruising gently through the really high upper atmosphere. Or as soon as I've left the atmosphere, just like, I don't need to wait till I get Apple Apps is. When I'm above 70k, I can start burning. Alright, if you have any advice on getting into orbit, he says having just got into lunar orbit, lunar orbit, um, please comment down below. I've been the Marmoset, you've been you. Please remember also to like and subscribe, particularly if you haven't subscribed, and like if you have liked the video. Bye for now.